Hi guys, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Today we're going to show you how to strip a piece of cable and how to put on a compression connector. This model is the FPO3W-JAR from us and it comes in a jar like this with 50 units in it so it's a very good alternative in a domestic environment to the normal F connectors that you would traditionally buy. These connectors you know you strip the cable, you put it on, you twist it down but when a client pulls it to go to forward or moves the TV or something like that the cable tends to pull out the back of the connector whereas if you're using one of these connectors once you've applied it it will definitely stay on so it'll save you a lot of comebacks to, to customers so first things first is we need to strip and prepare our cable so we use our handy stripper just like before we measure until the spring we press a little bit harder to try and cut through all of the outer braiding any foil and braiding that's left over we cut off there we go next thing is we need to get rid of some of the dielectric the center so we put it on Just try and strip it off great now you need to have a look on the inside of the connector you can see that there's a small ring now that ring slips in between the outer sheath and the braiding and that's what makes contact with earth so when you're putting on your connector you need to make sure it fits in correctly and when you're putting it on you simply push and twist at the same time see what I'm doing now you know it's bright when the center dielectric is flush with the connector itself and you can see it fits quite nicely that's that's how you know it's in we're just going to trim back our copper I leave two to three millimeters I was trying to cut it at a bit of an angle now in order to compress this one we need to use this tool this is the tool 26 from us so we simply put the connector in and then slide it in I'll turn it sideways and then you press down so that it locks into place once that's done, if you look at the connector as I'm pressing it, you can see it's busy squeezing the two components together so that it bites down on the cable. And then once that's in, now this is a bit of a tricky part, but you can simply pull up just like that to get your cable out. And that's it. The connector is now locked. It's firm. It's stuck. It's not going to come off in any case. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask. Have a good day.